Good afternoon. My name is Frantisch Knechas, and I'm going to talk about my, my high school internship at Red Hat. Uh, first of all, I would like to say a few things about me and about my background. Uh, I'm a high grammar school student, and as the Czechs in the audience may know, uh, high schools provide general education, so that means that we are on everything ranging from maths to psychology. Uh, so two years ago, I didn't really know what I wanted to do next and study at university because I was a straight A student and I was more or less uh, jack of all trades, master of none. Uh, but then uh, we had the option to choose an optional subject and I decided to choose programming and I definitely don't regret choosing it, uh, even though our teacher was not the best and it didn't explain very well. Uh, I programmed at home and worked on my own. And later on, uh, we attended Red Hat Open House, where uh, I learned about the newly opened high school internship program. And a few weeks later, I was accepted. Uh, that was in September 2017, so it's been almost a year and a half. Uh, so I joined... Uh, give me a moment. Okay. Uh, so I joined the team Relcore Services, uh, and at the time I only knew Python, uh, so uh, I was assigned to a project that is written in it. Uh, it is called Rebase Helper, and basically rebasing is the process of upgrading your package to new upstream version. Uh, in the process, you have to do many manual steps, for example, download uh, new source code, apply patches, then create the package itself, and then run some kind of test suite to, in it, to make sure that everything went well during the rebase. Uh, so rebase helper aims to automate it. Uh, and during, my, during the year and a half at uh, Red Hat, I got to work on various features, uh, ranging for starting with uh, writing sim simple bug fixes or plugins. And later on, uh, I moved to more complex features, uh, for example, uh, improving the, the output to the terminal and making it more user-friendly. Uh, during this uh, implementation, uh, I got to also contribute to another, another upstream project, which was a great experience. And then I even got to uh, improve the inner functionality. Uh, you may be asking what the internship looks like. Uh, so basically, we agreed that I would come to the office uh, every week or once in two weeks, depending on my schedule. Uh, and then I where, uh, in the office, I discuss where I, uh, all the problems I have and questions with my tutor. And then I program from home, and we communicate mainly through pull requests or using IRC. Okay, now to the main part, and that is what I have learned. Uh, first and foremost, I learned what it is like to work on a real pro project. Don't get me wrong, but programming at school, uh, you don't have to overcome uh, obstacles regularly. Basically, you write something that just works and that's enough for you. Uh, and in real life, that is a lot different, or at least it was a big change for me. Uh, there is a big thing related to that, and it is uh, Git uh, workflow in general, and most importantly, pull requests and code review. Uh, I'm going to talk about this uh, a bit later. Uh, I would say that I've improved a lot at programming, uh, starting with uh, code style and writing maintainable and readable code, uh, which makes it easier for other developers to work on the project with me. Uh, I also had to learn how to find a better solution, because at school, basically, if the code worked, then everything was fine, but uh, maybe it wasn't the best solution, the fastest one, or the most readable one. Uh, since Rebase Helper is tightly connected with RPM packaging, I had to learn the basics of it. And um, I created some simple packages, and I even got to uh, write a thesis about it for my school exam. I handed, it to in, I handed it in to my teacher on Wednesday, so I hope everything goes well. Uh, I also got to work with uh, all kinds of technologies, for example, Docker, or writing unit tests, or writing documentation for the project. Uh, there have obviously been some struggles. Uh, the first few months were really rough for me uh, because it was a completely new experience and I had to get used to a uh, new style of writing code. And most importantly, uh, the code review sometimes seemed a bit harsh and nitpicky to me. 
Uh, but later on, I, had, I changed my mindset because at first I wanted everything to be perfect on my first try, and uh, I had to overcome my ego and change my mindset to more of a, if I make mistakes, I want to learn from them and do not make them in the future again. Uh, and if I'm not learning, if I'm not making mistakes, then I'm not using my full potential. Uh, there are obviously lots of new technologies which I had to learn, and everything takes time. And even more importantly, uh, at school you are basically prohibited to use Google or search for help from your friends, uh, which is different in real life. Uh, usually searching for a better solution is encouraged and sometimes it is just better to ask because at some, in some cases uh, it is better to ask for your more experienced colleague uh, to help you instead of uh, struggling for hours and hours trying to fix a simple problem. Uh, to sum up, uh, the, the internship has been a great learning experience. I have learned a lot uh, and I hope to continue even further. I also met a, met, met a lot of great people and there have been many great opportunities, for example, giving a, giving a talk at DEF CONF, uh, which is something completely new to me. Um, for any high school students in the audience, uh, I recommend trying it out as well. A good first step may be to get in touch with the recruiters. If I'm not mistaken, there is a Red Hat booth above us. Or you can attend uh, Red Hat Open House, which, if I'm not mistaken, happens in spring. Um, and it is definitely a great experience and may be a good uh, first step for your career. Um, so that it, that's it for, from me. Uh, we now have three or four minutes. Uh, so if you have any questions, I will be glad to answer them. So what would you improve? What did I improve on eBay's upper? No, no, like what would you improve like for the next students so they have better experience? For the next students? Uh, I would say that uh, the, it was great for me. It, is, it, it uh, definitely depends on the team that you are in and on the approach of your colleagues. Uh, I think that uh, my, fir my first steps were great because I started small. I started writing simple bug fixes. So I got to know the code base and later on I moved to more complex parts. And my colleagues have always been helpful and patient. I would especially like to name Nicola Foro who has helped me a lot and taught me a lot. Any other questions? Okay, if not, that's it from me. And if you have any questions later, you can always email me or I will be around here. Thanks.